welcome to the Pacific Northwest. I woke up to a bit of a winter wonderland today. And see, I have a lot of things I have to do in the next few weeks. One of those things was going on a four hour trip today. But clearly things don't always go as planned. It is 15 degrees in Portland right now. Uh, school closures and delays continue to roll in. That road is still covered. It is it's five degrees. Roads and very slick conditions out here. of our problems, of course. Try to avoid driving. I was supposed to drive to my cousins in Oregon today, but I'm not going anywhere because I literally cannot. Can you see my breath? Well, since I'm snowed in and I have a lot I want to get done, I need to call myself out on the one thing that gets in my way, and that is phone addiction. From the moment I wake up and start scrolling to the ungodly amount of screen time hours I accumulate each day, it's a problem and it needs to change. I don't want to lose my soul chasing after things that don't leave me straight. I invented the butt crack. So I've been on a journey to break up with my phone. And according to a simple Google search, about 50% of Americans admit to being addicted to their phones. Not to mention social media apps are designed to be addictive and to keep you on them. I don't know about you, but I desire to live a full life and one that's not, not through a screen. Let this one sink in. You live most of your life inside of your head. Remember all the things. So make sure it's a nice place to be. So I'm doing it. I'm deleting social media off of my phone in hopes of experiencing a little more mental silence. Just so we're clear, I'm not swearing off social media for life. I want to try this for one week and see if it helps with my productivity because I constantly find myself procrastinating and scrolling on my phone and then feeling overwhelmed because I still have to get all the things done. <sighs> One thing I've been pushing off is creating my 2024 vision board and YouTube video to go with that vision board. So it's time to do that. I even used this time to create a vision board mini course that has a ton of things in it. So while we're at it, I will link that down below. I definitely recommend to uh, check that out. The things we have time for when we're not on our phone, that is what I'm already learning. Yeah, so I deleted Facebook and Instagram, but I still find myself on my screen quite a bit. But on YouTube, and instead of watching mindless content, I've been looking up videos on how to make my channel better and my videos better, which is hopefully reflected in this video. So I think it's about being intentional with the kind of screen time. And I feel like this has actually been really good. In today's video, I'm going to speak to you guys a little bit about vlogging and some of the key things I think you can do to make your vlogs way more interesting because it's not as simple as just hitting record and pulling your day. So I created my 2024 vision board and one of the things on my vision board this year is to get my content creation and all the metrics and views and activity up. Anyway, I need to finish filming my vision board video. If you haven't made your vision board yet, it is not too late. I'm going to take you through my step-by-step -step process that is far beyond just taking random images from... If you're someone who wants to create YouTube videos, here's a little hack for you. Plan and capture your thumbnails before you make the video. Set up your camera, turn your video on, and then just take a screen grab of the still that you want to use. Since I'm talking staying off of my phone and being productive, one thing I also did was I was able to make a new YouTube banner using this photo and it's really freaking cute. So another thing checked off of my list I've been procrastinating on. The 
sun is out. Can you see it? Can you tell? Camera never does justice. Oh, it's so pretty. It's 7 p.m. and I still have to edit my vision board video. Side note, not sponsored. My Soul CBD Big Brain Focus Capsules. They're really, really, really good. I have ADHD. These are like a miracle. Not only helps with focus, but the CBD also helps with stress and anxiety. I had a code, it was Annie D for 15% off. I am just not sure if it's still active. If it is still valid, I will let you know on the screen and also put the code below. All right, time to work. As the days have gone by, it gets easier to not grab my phone first thing in the morning, and I actually desire to not be on it. Not to mention, I've been waking up with zero anxiety, which is a huge plus. Your arms your... <sighs> I have to finish editing. I feel like it's an edit from bed kind of morning. <laughs> last night to sleep in. My bed's not made. I've been trying to export this video and it just keeps failing over and over and over again. It's trying to export again. So instead of just sitting there and waiting, I can at least make my bed. All right, still exporting. Let's go look at the sunset. My first time outside all day. about one week of being snowed in, it finally began to melt. But oh my gosh, you did not even get to witness the things that went wrong. So let me go over them with you. The first thing that went wrong, obviously, was being snowed in. The roads were bad, I had to cancel my trip. The next thing was all of the technical difficulties happened and all of my memory cards ran out of space, my external hard drive was broken, and my computer ran out of space, so I couldn't even film everything I wanted to for this video. Like, it was so bad that as soon as the roads cleared up, I had to go drive and get a brand new computer. I'm telling you, the creativity I had to pull out of myself to complete this video was truly miraculous. But then on the other hand, there was so much good that came out of being snowed in and especially from deleting my social media. Like I got to spend time in this beautiful winter wonderland. Oh, it's so pretty. I created my vision board and set big goals for this year, and I was able to film a vision board video and get it posted during this time. I also put together that vision board mini course, PS if you have not made a vision board yet, spring is a great time as it is the astrological new year, so I will link that down below with a discount for you. I also filmed this video, which I was able to put more effort into this video than others in the past, so I really hope you like it. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this one. Oh, and after years, I finally created an updated banner for my YouTube channel. Another huge vision board goal is running my own mastermind called the Into the Magic Mastermind. So with that being said, I want to share that I took action and I'm doing that. Introducing the Into the Magic Mastermind. This is for the person who wants to make an impact on social media. You want to tap into your creativity and share your voice and your message while breaking the so-called social media rules. Oh, and there is an in-person content creation retreat involved. I'm really excited about this and was finally able to set this in motion during my week of being snowed in and off social media. I will link it down below. If it intrigues you at all, please go check out the page and apply. 
But all in all, deleting social media for the week was exactly what I needed to reset my system. And if there's one action I would recommend for you, that would be to try this for yourself. Like right now, go check your screen time and how many hours per day do you tend to be on your screen? Maybe seeing that will encourage you to delete the apps for at least a weekend and try to spend more time in your real life than on a screen. If I can do all of this in one week, I know you can go after what you want in life too. So just want to tell you, you got this. Thank you for being here. Now go get off your screen and enjoy life.